Alright, let's go to the warehouse. Kick down the doors and do some dirt. Kill all the rope thugs and then hope that they're not important. <laughs> it would be nearing, uh, or, well, it would be evening then if you decide to go to the warehouse still at this day. No, we're no, gonna we rest, rest up first. Okay, rest we up and then. We rest up and then we go to the warehouse. Okay. We just show up in like the morning. Hey guys! Mm -hmm. We're just gonna coffee. take a look. Yeah, it's gonna go in here. We don't like it. Well, council yeah. business, so... Um, or are we gonna first check on Bonaire? Yeah. Well. I mean... If he was getting worse, surely, like, they would have sent for us, right? Right, because he's being kept in the same place where all the people are so considerate. Mm-hmm. He didn't have any... <laughs> Send a anyway. message? <laughs> well... <laughs> The message spell would be. It'd be at sixth level, so. I mean, I guess we can w visit the warehouse during the day. <laughs> or we could do a night attack. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. Rather be able to see. I would. I would rather. You have a flashlight. Us, I would rather prefer us not being seen. I'm not sure if we are going in there, guns blazing. We don't really know what's in there. We're going in to take a look at what the hell is going on, because something shady is up. I mean, the, all the confirmation we need is that Garmin Ulrith is, like, connected with, like, the Thieves Guild, mm -hmm. so fuck him. Uh, but yeah, we can, we can go in, in the night. I'm guy said he was bad, so. perfectly fine with that. We have saved Connor. Yeah. We don't have a time limit as such anymore, although the torch being out is certainly a problem. I mean, you know, there's still the whole tax collection thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, we can wait for Not a being day. paid for this is the thing, you know? Are we gonna loot the we, warehouse? We 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 are being paid for this. This is part of the figuring out the whole torch thing. I think the I night we're just gonna get Connor back. Was no, that... no, no. There was an additional the four thousand. Four thousand gold pieces for Connor. Four thousand for the torch. Oh, cool. Well, let's get to it then. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Well, well, I don't think it's, think it's, a, it's, a, good I don't think it's a good idea to go to that warehouse during the night because if they're all thieves, they're gonna sneak attack us to death. No, oh. only no. if they flank us and attack us from the dark, but we have light with us, so that should be fine. I mean, they should have like high but stealth. Are you more or visible at day you can't or at stealth, night with a light? But you can't stealth like into light. You can't stand under a torch and be stealth. And they if run in with stealth and get a sneak attack? Mm, they break stealth if they run, usually. You can range yeah. attack from Like, we need, we need light to see. Yes. And. Uh, so we need to carry light. No, I'm, not, I'm sure the warehouse is not going to be pitch black if they actually have. Yeah, exactly. Set. Because they, the guards are not going to sit there in the dark. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we could chill out and then do it at night. What's the advantage to going there at night then? The rest of the town won't see us, and Connor basically said, "Can you do this kind of sneakily?" Mm And I don't know whether there's anyone else here besides me who has ranks and stealth. Ah, uh, <laughs> not a class skill for the Blood Ranger. <laughs> not really, no. So, so I figure, I figure the knight is going to assist more than anything else. Yeah. Sure. I have a plus one. <laughs> I have a minus three. Well, it's armor. Well, good news is that with my minus five armor check penalty, I too have a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> It's you and me, sneak buddies forever. Be invisible. <laughs> Maybe we can buy some. Oh. My stealth is six. Let, let's not go that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Should right. we? Should we check out um, the technically guys, like what he's selling to us? <laughs> nah, not now. We can do that in the two weeks. Well, yeah. if we're waiting for until the night time. No, I mean in session. It ah, okay. Uh, like, eventually you'll want to go to sleep, and it would take time to go through this entire inventory. But it's a good downtime thing we can do, like, between yes. sessions. Yeah, I think I'll take this. If you want to stop, you have a sword. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's sneak. I think I think we approach from the south. We go, like, through the this copse, this copse of uh, trees up here. That looks promising. Uh, so we sneak up in the night towards the warehouse. Moving slowly and carefully. Keep relying on the night to shroud some folks. Mm -hmm. And if there are torches along the way, Saren can create water and douse them. <laughs> it's like I have permanent water arrows. Mm -hmm. Gareth wishes he was Exactly, made. exactly. And I also turn them off with the prestigiation. Oh, you might actually be able to, yeah. If I can light them up. 
You can I probably turn it off, yeah. yeah. I mean, worst case, like, we don't actually have to even be that damn sneaky because we're, it's not against the law to fucking walk around in the warehouse district. That is very we, true. We can Besides go up to the warehouse and fucking wave at the warehouse. I'm like, not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I uh, just want to actually get to a fucking warehouse, goddammit, before we all fall asleep. <laughs> let's go to warehouse. Let's We're go to warehouse. Now. We're going to warehouse ship. You approach the warehouse, and it is completely dark. Right. Looking abandoned, at least from the outside. We, the, uh... the windows completely boarded up. The door apparently also boarded up. Okay. I think the door seems unlocked. <laughs> yes, I looked uh, at it, and it is unlocked. In fact, how how big is the building? Uh, well, let let's do this properly. I'll make a new map available. Okay. <coughs> yes, new map. Uh, I will copy your tokens. You do not have to. O point two. That means it's not done yet. Early so much dying back there. It's a warehouse, not a bath net house. It's a dying. Okay. Yeah, the door here closed as well as boards. Completely <laughs> blocking it. Well, seems like that's not the way in. Let's see here. I would actually, before I like to uh, take a look at the rest of the buildings, I'd actually like to walk around the warehouse. So, Zaren can like look back and say, Well, I'm the one who can actually see in all of this. You can stay here if you desire. Sure. If I can... Like, okay, those are just like features of the wall. Yes. Case in the joint. Same deal here. Bolts in front of the doors. Okay. Same here. In the interest of being sporting sheep, uh, while mousing over this area, my mouse has had a token. Oh, well. Uh, Zoran will uh, take a look around this corner of the building. Okay. Uh, Zarin will actually take a look at this door, a uh, closer look. I'll go ahead and make a perception check. Just wants to study the door. You know, if thieves are involved, could be traps. Well, looking at the door, the first thing, the main thing that you notice is that while it is boarded up, the boards don't actually block the door. They just look like they do. Mm. Okay. Is it possible that I could uh, dismantle the door quietly, maybe with like a disabled device? Uh, that would be possible, yes. Okay. Zarin is going to uh, look around and uh, walk back. Think he thinks about motioning and then he realizes that oh, they're human. <laughs> and. Uh, it's closer. Do you look at us and say with the Mr. Smith voice, only human? So I'll get closer and he'll whisper, there's a spot in the back that I can get us access to. So go Good. ahead and follow me. There's no one outside. Got it. On slings the musket. Gotta make sure that this is properly put on the fucking token. I need a silencer on the musket. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, general battle is not quiet. Can be. Just don't rage. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> let's see. Damn it, I moved too far. You folks can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did it go? <laughs> I'm like, let me just zip around here. <laughs> and I'm like, right. Vision. It's a thing. Okay. Let me go ahead. Yeah, 
folks. Approaching the door here, you do hear the faint sound of someone humming. Hmm. What kind of humming? Like a like a jaunty tune. Mm -hmm. A man that will never again meet his family. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zarya's going to step next to the door uh, that I analyzed earlier. And uh, a soft blue light is uh, going to glow from his electronic circuitry embedded into his skin. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and activate his nanite surge here on the skill check. And might as well make this the... Uh, the inspired one too. Especially since I'm wearing my fucking armor. It's gonna be harder. And next. Make the second check. Actually, good rolls in these things for a change. As I attempt to dismantle the door quietly. You do manage to succeed in uh, dismantling the bolts. Kind of, but not quite blocking the door. They would certainly block you. Uh, they would certainly block, but they don't actually block the actual. I'm I'm not good with words. You succeed. You do not okay. make much noise. Okay. Uh, Zarin will like look at like I suppose like the hinges of the door. Uh, maybe pull out like a bit of like a cloth rag to like try and wrap around like mask the sound. Um. Going to cast Long Strider on myself. That'll last for two minutes. And then Zarin will open the door. The door's locked. All right. Oh, Zarin actually didn't think about checking that. And uh, Zarin will then what is fucking like roll his eyes. I think it's locked. Like... Can you look locked? <laughs> I know, right? Zarin. Yeah, Zarin fucking completely botches that job to pick the lock. Zarin can't fucking pick that lock. Uh, that's a one. And as you try to unlock the door, you not only do not succeed, but essentially the, the wood of the door crunches rather loudly. Zarin, like, looks at the door and says, Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'm, I'm, I guess I'm bull rushing the door. <laughs> All right. This, this, this I understand. <laughs> Rother, Rother nods Rother? sagely. Yes. I the barbarian shoe. <laughs> I didn't we can salvage this. this no. Quickly shoot a small animal and like put it there. Like it freaking like <laughs> ran into the door. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 kids. None no, of the bonuses. The gun. <laughs> none of the bonuses I have in the world can defeat a one. <laughs> Me meow. Yeah. Quickly, right, someone with rush the deception. Door. It does Seep. buckle easily, as you've already softened it with your attempts at unlocking it. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And you are looked at by a few people who are very confused that you're here, which you can't see. Oh, okay. Ah, I know as people. We'll go into initiative. Monster. They certainly don't want you here. Get out of my warehouse! Uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Zarin's emotions keep fluctuating so mildly that he actually does have a look of I fucking can't fucking do <laughs> I don't see them on the initiative ship. Seems oh, that's good. Okay. Adala. Alright. Well, uh... I'm shooting on these. I'm trying. I'm just going to stay up here. It's like wood splinters are like falling <laughs> into like the warehouse. Yeah, no, Sh uh, Shonda certainly knows what, what this is about. And she will sprint up, rifle ready, turn around on a dime, and then just shoot the damn dude. So we are breaking and entering and murdering. Yes, that is oh, correct. Yeah. <laughs> With no probable We are cause, heroes, okay? don't you know? No, yeah. no there, there is probably plenty of probable cause. A man from the Technic League said so. Yeah. We'll, we'll find we'll find the proof inside. <laughs> we'll, and, see and they attacked first. <laughs> we'll just drop. What is that? Is that drugs? The proof is in the pudding, and by pudding I mean corpses. Uh, which one are you attacking? The one I can see, Thug Two. Thug Two, we most definitely hit him. Shablamo! Into can't the fray, my us. friend. You can't fucking believe that one, motherfucking dice. <laughs> <laughs> As not only is there now a gunshot echoing through the through the night, as are many a voice coming your direction from inside the warehouse. Cool, me. What are they calling? 
Mostly exclamations of surprise and, you know, get over there, intruders. Mercy, please! <laughs> yeah, uh, well, are there any uh, windows, like, at yeah, the top, maybe? I don't All know. the windows might as well be walls, as they are completely boarded up. Okay, um... Mm -hmm, hmm. I'm kind of thinking, something. what if I were to shine a flashlight in someone's face? Would it, like, dazzle them or blind them, maybe, for a round? Uh... Sure, maybe. I'm just saying, because I'm not, you know, very good at, like, actually killing things, apparently. Um, well, that's the theory, anyway. The Blunt Helm and, uh, didn't really refute it. Or did refute it, but... Uh, I'm just... I'm just seeing what my options are here. For science! He shrieks. For science! Well, no, I mean, using it as, like, you know, Pimmy and obvious... Chemical weapons and stuff. Obviously, it's uh, handy to see in the dark, but perhaps someone's running at you and you shine it in their eyes and they're like, What is this technological magic? And they get, like, blinded. Maybe. My lightning rod shall smite you, and they're like, Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go on, no. Door over here, though. Uh, I imagine it's probably locked. Yeah, but not for them. I mean, they have yeah, to Yeah, well, you know, sure you the, can be flanked. I'm sure the sorcerer can handle that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. Two he's, people. He's buff. I have one base attack bonus now, so I want to draw my sword and a flashlight this time. <laughs> Dude wielding police like I, pose. Dude, what a torch yeah. you're carrying, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to... Well, how does the flashlight work mechanically? Like, is it like 30, 40 feet or whatever in front of me? It's a 60-foot cone. Okay. Blast everyone. I'm just, like, light in their face, yeah. Well, I want to then... Yeah, shine, shine the the light down there, like it's a good right thing in their my eyes. fucking head is turned towards you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll say, I'll like whisper so that just these guys can hear. Don't look at the light, and uh, and then just like it's probably turn fast it off. if you say that loud. <laughs> well, no, but I don't want them to turn away. We do, though. Yeah, we do. Well, I guess <laughs> I want to dazzle them though first. God damn it! I, I don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> I'm, I already said what I'm doing. I said I'm going to turn the light on in their eyes. <laughs> okay, you, you can do that, but uh, you do have to make sure that the flashlight actually has a battery in, in it, which, in retrospect, oh. you could have loaded it, essentially. And yeah. you do have to subtract a charge. Uh, from from the, the battery. How many charges are there in a battery? Ten. Okay. The flashlight needs one per eight hours. And these two, I'll say they get like a DC 12 will save. I think that's fine. Okay. You know, Fuck 4 is dazzled at the sudden explosive light in this dark warehouse. <laughs> Fuck 1 does not care. Brilliant, Professor. Kenrick. Oh, worried about my behind. I will ask the mage armor here over here. And after that, I will move closer. Age armor has a duration of hours per level, right? Yes. Make sure. Perfectly viable to cast like while you approach a target. Man, I can't. No, no, no. no. It's kind of hard to move on this edge here. <laughs> okay. That's right. J just watch your heels because we are literally at the edge of the world. Yeah. N nothing exists here. beyond this moment. <laughs> and, yeah, I guess that's everything I can do. Okay. This guy got shot in the face with a musket. He does not approve. He will shoot a sling at Shandala. <laughs> oh, bring it, motherfucker. Cheap. Miss. Mm -hmm. And then he'll move away. <laughs> oh. Zarin, uh, oh, as part of his move action, he'll step through the threshold. What do I say? In one of the corners, oh, it's you. Be behind or next to a now fallen over chair does seem to be the owner of the this call, Garmin Ulrath himself. He did seem like he wanted to make as little noise as possible to maybe not have you notice him, but. He's in plain sight. He is currently oh. holding a potion. Oh. Oh. Uh, you know what? You know what? I thought that too, Manakai. 
And I'm about to fucking mm-hmm. wreck his day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zarin is actually going to walk there, and then, like, he's actually just going to move back to here, back to this moment, as part of his move action. And uh, as my standard action, I'm going to cast a spell called Fairy Fire. Yes. And a little five burst, uh, basically. Is it like is it like a burst? I think, or is it like a blast? Whatever. It's hidden Garmin. <laughs> that's that's great. I it's don't know how you have burst. how you have Fairy Fire, but I love it. It's a hunter spell. spell. Yeah. Oh. His his yeah. outline is clearly outlined by the by the Fairy Fire. Oh, Saren, is there anything you can't do? Zarin, uh, I'll like walk in and say. Good evening, Garmin. <laughs> <laughs> like, like... <laughs> what color is it? It can be blue, green, violet, or Dude, pink. Yeah. No, God chose. I end my turn. I love pink. Okay. Right. Well, still slightly, ever slightly dazzled by the bright light. Well, after getting cursed at by Garmin, go for Zarin. So I'm here and do. trying to punch him. That's a miss. <laughs> Garmin curses, turns towards Zara and says, You walk into my house and stop shooting my people. How... <sighs> this is a warehouse. You don't live here. <laughs> he, he points at the meal he was just consuming and then puts away his potion and essentially goes like so. And Fucking like hops over the counter and the barrel. Oh, yes, Good it Christ. does. <laughs> Wow. Pulling a rapier and striking at Zarin. Puts away the potion, hops over the counter yep. and the barrels he's while pulling out a, a rapier and still attacking. Yep. Yeah, he's got a point of bab. Look at that he, damage. He, he put away a potion. Like, normally putting away something looks like a move action, right? He dropped it. <laughs> no, okay. So it broke. It <laughs> broke, broke all over the floor. No, no, no. no it's laying there intact. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I cannot defeat a point of damage. I'll get him for you. Don't worry. Yeah. Teach me a lesson of pain. <laughs> yes. Tell me about the pain. Break machine. There are sounds coming from this set of doors that sound like the doors being unlocked. Oh. I knew it. No. no time. This guy will come over here and shoot a sling at her. No. Go for. Well, it's time to rage, I think. Because it sounds well, like someone a, is a friend in there who needs my aid. Help dragging me out when I was dying on the floor, and I hear they would go on all their party times and think that they're someone important. You, uh, I mean, considering how little damage you deal with that masterwork rapier, you want to risk the, uh, the, the, the flank there, like a t- attack of opportunity for a flank, Manakai. Uh, sure. <laughs> Smash for all the barrels. Okay, he will take us attack of opportunity. Well, he struck oh, first. The part where he rolls like 9,000 for damage. No. no. Okay. Monster <laughs> attacking me. What's coming here to. He's a bad guy. Oh, clearly. <laughs> now, he will, now he will be smoking. Coming right for us. That's Should, right. Is this destiny, Vanekai? <laughs> yes, let's. <that's, laughs> you know. My destiny. It is. Is it a power die. attack? I don't know what kind of man he is. I, I I would admittedly like to keep him alive for information. I but uh you know no, I'm raging. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That's it. She let out a, a, a battle roar, uh, punching through the door, sort of swinging back and forth, still smashing into the barrels with his sort of shoulder into the wall, and then just sort of cutting with his momentum towards the guy. It says, surrender now or die. He looks completely astonished. How did my uh, two damage not stop this man? <laughs> <laughs> this usually works. This thug will move like so and punch at Zaren. The conga line of death. Yeah, it's forming. Flank hell. Oh, that's that's 13. Yeah, Holy yeah. Christ. Yeah, I take 13 points of damage. Probably. 
Oh, that's a thug. Yeah, yeah that, that's floating damage. Shandala. <laughs> Shandala sees that, like, teeth and everything just flying from Saren from that punch. It's like, I did. No, I, can barely I can barely shoot anyone with such force. Uh, <laughs> That's a lie, and you fucking know it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I'll go here. Should I shoot? Uh, should I try to break the flank? Although if I do, then another guy is just gonna step in anyway. Yeah, shoot the other guy instead. This guy is already taking his turn. If you if you kill that guy, then another one's just gonna. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to go for. Uh... Actually, you know what? I uh, I'll delay until after Kenrick. <laughs> okay. Um. Come in. Penny and heard like the bone crunch punch, and he's like, "Well, probably someone's in trouble." Uh, so he'll cast cure light wounds, and then uh, walk in. What? Yeah. And deliver the charge to Zarin. You oh, can do that. Sure. He holds it in his hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to flank hell, Garmin. Wow. Which way are you gonna go yeah. now? <laughs> there is no <laughs> escape. Well, no, like, That's the halfling <laughs> with the flashlight. <laughs> you you like point point it right at him. <laughs> yeah, like, can I do that? Can I blind the fuck out of it? You could also point at your own chin and cast as, really eerie shadows. As 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 Pim, you're like maniacally laughs, <laughs> no, shining him in the face. His own chin and goes, there is no escape. Ah! <laughs> Kenrick. Uh, let Let's it rip, Kenrick. Move over here. Yeah, fucking fucking nice. nuke that with sleep. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. E even Pillion if can take it. Sleep. <laughs> Gonna Pillion can sleep this area over here. Yeah. Okay. 17 That's decent. A, it's pretty good. Maybe this guy will be okay with telling his stocks to leave. Uh, it only affects up to 4 oh. HD. <laughs> Zero it's GOD! Four, it's 4 HD. Up, yeah, yeah, but that uh, still has... Uh, oh, this guy as well then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they all oh, fall asleep. Wonderful. Brilliant! Um, Brilliant! For the record, it affects up to 4 HD, so if they if there are 2 HD, yeah. I would only two of them. They, they are 1 HD. Each. Brilliant, oh, okay. Doctor! Uh, Alright, stepping here, and now I'm gonna shoot him. Kablamo! That hits his touch. Alright. You should probably surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Guards are sleeping. Well, there's more coming from behind. Yeah, we, could stun, we could stun fuck. Baton. This fuck opens the doors behind you and crashes through the boards, blocking it. And will double move essentially to threaten Chandala. Tough guy. Saren. Okay. Factor of the bonuses and the penalties there for this situation. I will. Uh... Attempt to non-lethally... Damn, that wasn't even remotely close. That does not hit, yeah. I will, uh... I'm gonna stay here. And end my turn. This fuck is lying on the floor, sleeping. Scarman looks at Rolfall, looks at Zara, looks at Permian even, with his flashlight. And my sword. I have my sword out. And he drops his weapon. After like, after like the great sword, like fucking goes like sailing over his head. <laughs> he, he I'm intimidating. Shouts, he shouts to the outside, "Stand down!" And, and you, I don't even know what you want. So could we just talk about this? What do we want? <laughs> oh, I I know. It's okay. Oh, I can I can actually handle that one. Combat can be over if you if you want it to be. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what are murders. The well, back <laughs> 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 like, like, yeah, hey, guys. hey, we we technically have not killed anyone. No, we haven't. That's right. Uh, let me see here. Except for the potion. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going for the potion. Zarin will uh, Zarin will uh, lower his uh, his sword and sort of point it against the ground. We're here because of the purple-haired woman, Garmin. For me, a sense motive. <laughs> I mean, there's 
not being able to tell if he's lying and there's not believing anything he says. <laughs> that's, that, that's pretty much what I do. He's a, <laughs> <laughs> like, he's the bad guy. He could be like, oh, she's just my, my like, aunt, and she is. And we'd be like, no. No, she isn't. Oh, I, I, I don't know who you mean. I mean, this is a warehouse. You can only find crates here. Crates that contain stuff, as it is, is the case in most warehouses, Sarah, really. Uh, just, uh, if you nod, I'll, I'll cut his head off. Could you nod, please? Um, I mean, Zorn, I... Like, Zorn, like, scratches his head and looks over at Pibian and says, You know, my father did say that he was so oily and untrustworthy. Uh, not... What do you think, Professor? I mean, um, you know, he, he says to himself, this guy, uh, he, he's got some telltale symbols of lying about him. He, he definitely knows more, I think. It's that goatee, Shauna says. It's yes, it's it is the, the goatee. Of course, no truthful man wears a goatee. Yep. Zorin looks over at Garmin and says, you know, for someone whose entire empire of rope this just crumbling around him with no access to the council for support you've taken a rather aggressive stance i'm not sure whether it's wise L listen my my entire business as a college relies on discretion which means that it would be very bad practice if i just went ahead and told everyone about everyone but your, uh, your entire business sir uh Reflects on you staying alive, doesn't it? I mean, that would be a problem, I think. That that would be a problem indeed. Um, yes, I have dealt with her. She wanted me to store something for her in a warehouse because that is what warehouses are usually used for: storing things. Oh, it is not illegal. Take a look. Shooting at Shooting people, however, might be. In fact, you see, Garmin, you might have some pull with your words. The problem is that all of the people around you have just recently retrieved Connor, Hale and Hearty, from the Kale Caverns beneath Torch. And considering how much you've thrown your weight around in this town, compared to how much Connor means, I think the Council would take our word over yours. I suppose so. So then, uh, well, what exactly is it you want me to... What exactly is it you want to know from me then? Yes, I've dealt with the purple haired woman who introduced herself as a woman called Mayanda. And as I said, she wanted me to store something for you with a significant amount of discretion involved. She didn't arrive here alone. Oh, she had some people with her, yes. Tilts his head, people? Oh, I. I some half orcish fellows, I think. Mm. Half orcs. Uh, quite unusual. But I, again, discretion, didn't ask too much. Of course. Of course. I no don't suppose you would mind if we take a look at the things you have stored here, then? I don't think I can stop you. Wonderful. You go separate yourself, 17 like rope fist thugs, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kane is gonna dogs. go and disarm these sleeping tigers at least, so they don't jump us. I, okay. I, the, the, I think the problem with like disarming the sleeping thugs <laughs> is that you have to actually disarm them. You like, have uh, to remove their arms. Yeah, they were attacking can, us with could, arm strikes. You could take their slings, or you could like tie them up. You use the rope on their hands. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Turned against them. Yeah. So uh, the irony. What you know you where she me? is. Go ahead, mannequin. No, I was just gonna be chit chatting. Yeah. You uh you know where Mayanda is now, Garmin? I do not. I believe you have a, you have an opinion on where she might be? I do not, quite honestly. If she's not in town, then she probably left. Although that of course raises the question why would she want me to store something for her? Although the answer might just be that she will return eventually and dust for it back. Hmm. 
Uh, Shonda looks, shouts back over, uh, Kendrick, Professor, there's a, a humming crate in here. Humming, you say? It's humming quite intensely, in fact. Intense humming? <laughs> oh. Tempered pole comes out. <laughs> like, like, from like one professional to another, like Garmin, <laughs> Zarin, like Zarin, like, flicks his eyes over towards the door and says casually, how do you feel about half legs? Uh, uh, there is a right answer. <laughs> this, this horrible, horrible racism that's going on in this session is simply. Oh my god! <laughs> I, 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 I am rather fond of them, although, of course, not too fond. <laughs> you're what to back. I can hear every word you're saying! Ooh, Focus on the. What is it? Can, uh, can you reveal the room? Uh, I can in a moment. Okay. You're not gonna like it. It is oh a room full of crates, as is expected of a warehouse. The crate that Chandala pointed out is, in fact, one of the biggest crates in this room, and going, going anywhere near it, not only is the humming rather obvious, it is as if the entire air around the crate is vibrating. Hmm. It also creates a rather, well, almost headache-inducing, high-pitched hum as soon as you get close to it. I understand that humming crate, Garmin. Oh. I, as I've said multiple times, discretion, I have not asked. We have that radiation detector with us, we could. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Uh, Pimian will pull that out of his rapidly filling bag of technological wonders, as he calls it, and uh, it. in you know inspects it around a little bit for like a, a button or two. Uh, finds the one he's looking for, uh, gets as close as he's able to bear to the crate, and uh, points it in and clicks clicks the button. Uh, the radiation detector does not show any radiation. Although it too slightly begins begins humming. Oh. So what? Cast detect magic on it. It is not magical. Open the damn thing. Well, is there something oh, new, yeah. Professor? So, 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 so that depleted one of the charges from the radiation detector, right? Yeah, there are. There's yes. one left. I thought so. There's one left. So. It, it started humming, though. I would I would dare say metagame wise, that means it's something to do with energy. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Pimian will um, pull out his uh, his trusty wax earplugs. Uh, trusty, and, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> ugh. Okay, more like, wax. More like crusty. No. <laughs> <laughs> wax earplugs <laughs> <plug, laughs> that are trusty, not this particular set, because that's, yeah. It's one o'clock, folks. Yeah. Um, and he will uh, approach it. Which crate is it in particular? This one. Oh, okay. I'm already right there. Um, I will. Um, yeah. Did I have a crowbar? Yes. I have one guy. To Does do anyone have like arm strength? No, uh, no. Yeah, I'm not there either. The, the the people with strength would be the people who are currently hanging out with Garmin right now. I'm sure we can work a crowbar. I can. Uh, I mean. If you need me, but yeah, uh, you know, uh, well, we'll try. Well, if it's tech oriented, Manica, I, I don't, think. Wanna, I don't really want to. Yeah, that's true. I, I, if I if I see it there, it looks like we're about to smash it. So. Yeah, yeah. Pimian will, uh, I guess, try to yeah. open the crate. Yeah. Laden crap spot. Zar Zarin will look over at Rothor and say, Rothor, why don't you ask the good Garmin uh, why he invited us to his hall as he begins why walking you dare away? Dare invite us to your hall, Garmin. <laughs> Because I thought you would be fun to have around, because I... you're nice people, because uh, I <laughs> think that... A single game of dice, Garmin, and they took more than just <laughs> 100 gold worth of... <laughs> we just gotta close the door to this conversation. <laughs> don't do it, don't close the door. <laughs> they might do something. <laughs> I mean, well, on the that? other hand, you could have gotten filthy rich as well. That was definitely a possibility. That's how the game works. Like there are different ways to get filthy rich, isn't there? 
Um, One always likes to line his own pockets. What's upstairs? <laughs> There's no upstairs. That's a catwalk. Pimmy wants That's to open the crate. Too. <laughs> Listen here, smartass. Like says. <laughs> All right, the crate. It opens up easily enough if you oh, take okay. the time with the crate. Mm, yeah. And inside of it is a odd size. Something that looks very similar to the many things you found downstairs under Torch. Although slightly different in design, it is a heavy desk-sized console with three large glowing displays showing all manner of things and has a myriad of buttons. On its top sits a bowl-shaped apparatus emit emitting a deep, constant hum. I will, in fact, even give you a picture of it. Oh, my. Oh. Look at that wonderful thing. Hmm. Don't trust what it. is it, Professor? I basically, basically, like, I'm going to look at the Professor, I'm going to look at Ken, and, like... Is there anything uh, written? The, oh, sorry, I'm not. I'm, my apologies. I'm not allowed to take ten on that. I actually have to make a roll. The displays are showing text and numbers and diagrams and things, but understanding I... them would be knowledge engineering. Yeah. Well, I will cast the technologist spell so that I can get some sort of. Like... Knowledge skills is not with us today. Well, I am lucky. You sure are. Oh God, the professor knows all. Oh, yeah. spending. And I believe that's at a plus ten. Yes. No, that's when identifying magical item or technological. Does this count as identifying a technological item? Yes. Then that's a thirty-seven. There you go. All right. I'll oh wait, no, this. I don't actually have the technologist feet, so it's oh. uh, yeah. I don't know. Getting ahead yeah, of it's, yourself it's, there. Yeah, no, it it uh, lets me use it to identify things if I don't have technologist, and if I do, it gives me plus ten. Right. All right, you can learn many things about this thing. First of all, it does not seem to have any discernible energy source apart from a small battery that does not explain the immense amount of power it seems to just be pumping into the air. In fact, pumping energy into the air seems to be its primary purpose, as the disk. The, the like disc shaped object on its top seems to be not only directed in an arbitrary direction but a rather specific one. Specifically just punching and punching some of the buttons and looking at the displays. You would think that it is directing its stream of energy about a hundred miles northeast of Torch. What? Like along the ground or going up? Northeast. Not just up. I mean, like, like in an angle. Uh, not in any significant angle. What's a hundred miles north? Yeah, can we get like a geological? Actually, you know what? I've been traveling the surrounding area for a little while. Let's see what the uh, wonders of knowledge geography can tell me about what is a hundred miles to the northeast. Yeah, I have that uh, yeah, Pemian would know that the most likely settlement town that fits the description a hundred something miles northeast would be a town by the name of Scrap Wall. A presumably named for its wall. It's presumably named for the fact that it is essentially a whole, a hollowed out scrapyard, really. It is entirely made from metal salvage and therefore has a wall made out of salvage, metal salvage as well. Okay, so what's Garmin's dealings with the scrap I, wall? I don't Probably it's not I Garmin's dealings yeah, with scrap wall at all. I have it. Professor. Can we turn this off? I was thinking the same. You can turn it off, no problem. Yeah. Pimian, uh, you know, very matter-of-factly presses some buttons and then, like, pokes at the display and says, See that? You probably can't read it, but it says it's turning off. And then, you know, as left on cue, it turns off. The humming stops. And the device quickly becomes inactive. So, why well, won't it... And uh, then uh, Zarin says, "All right, now another idea." And uh, 
a rare smile slowly edges onto his face. Perhaps the first one that has ever existed in this entire campaign. Zarin will, like, bend down. Ah, uh, I'm gonna pick this fucker up. Okay. We're taking it with us. Sure. Seems reasonable. Um, Zarin will, like, Zarin will, like, slowly waddle. I can buy a cart if you want the donkey to, like, carry it. I... <laughs> like, it might be kind of heavy to carry a hundred miles northeast if that's what you're thinking. I'm thinking so, no, going a no. hundred miles northeast. No, no, no. I'm uh, thinking of taking it to a uh, a familiar location, like say the was, Foundry uh, Tavern. Was that the only crate uh, uh. that the woman was holding here? Uh, I I do believe that was the only one. Yes. In fact, that... I'll save you the trouble. Most of the other crates are empty. Zarin, looking at Shandala, figuring that she's a moral compass, says he is undeniably a a cancer for what he has done to the people by exploiting him. However, I don't... He sort of shrugs, like, I can't really justify doing anything more to him. He did help us here. She nods. Yes, you have been very helpful, uh, Garmin. Uh, you know, we'll overlook this sordid <laughs> collection of all manner of contraband you have here. I'm sure the council will be most pleased that you have helped us in this regard and will probably overlook it as well. If not, I'm sure we will, we will be back for you. She pats him on the back. Um, uh, Pimian will even go so far as to cure his wounds a little bit. You know, no reason to have him walking around hobbled. He, like, stabs you. Take <laughs> <laughs> He, he thanks Bermian for the for the slight healing. He says, "Listen, I'll. I think this can be the beginning of a great friendship, because." <laughs> Pimian says, "We will not this? gamble at your establishment." <laughs> he frowns. I I would have given you another hundred gold pieces worth of certificates. <laughs> you can give us a hundred. Pimian, you can look in. Instead. He can look into Pimian's eyes and see the sadness. Actually. You know, that is very interesting now that I think about it. Oh, what, uh, what payment for holding this in your warehouse? I mean, surely Meanda must have uh, thrown a few silver discs your way. And I mean, the, you know that the, the, the acolytes of the Temple of Briar would have charged you quite a bit for healing you at all. Mm-hmm. Maybe those certificates uh, should actually be coin. He sighs. All right, how about this? I'll I'll give you a quarter of the payment that Manda gave me. No hard feelings after that. <laughs> oh, this right. guy's gonna fucking haunt us. Hang on, it takes Before, like seventeen. When seconds. you say a quarter of the payment that Meanda gave you, how much is is the payment that Meanda gave you? The payment that I was given was 30 silver discs. It's a lie. <laughs> I don't think oh. that you would have kept this thing secret for the mere payment of 30 silver discs. I mean... Well, that was, of course, only the initial payment. But the actual payment I haven't received yet, because she has not come back yet. Uh, How about I this? I'll, 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 give you, I'll give you a quarter of 30 silver discs. And I'll tell you some things that I really shouldn't know about her. Oh, now we're talking. See, because I know that she is an android. She is hiding it pretty well, but I know it. I've Zarin's seen it. face twitches. An android? Oh. Of course, it might not mean anything, he looks to Zarin, but it is interesting. Well, thank you for telling us that. And she was, of course, working with those orcish fellas. I think he's, she's also thinking herself to be some kind of priestess. Oh. And if I had to guess, she might even still be down below Torch. Hmm. Like currently? Well, like we passed her six times? Now, Garmin, whenever I asked if you had any opinion on where she was, you said that you honestly didn't know. Yes, that was a mis misleaded attempt at still keeping my professional discretion, which, of course, perhaps 
a happy little accident. A happy little accident, yes. So, so Jean-Luc looks at that. Well, he is a rogue, I mean... Keep in mind that I could have, of course, kept these things secret, not told you, but I decided that so, to help our new friendship blossom, I would tell you these things. What things is he keeping now and not telling us? Well, Z Zorin, Z Zorin says that he's probably going to leave Torch as soon as we leave, or close to it. Well, we'll take our silver discs. <laughs> well, not our problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it was fun. It was ten of them, <laughs> right? To it, like... That's what I've heard. Ten. Yeah, you know, yes, ten. Mm -hmm, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wonderful. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll see you at the hall then. Pat some on the back. I'm I'm so fucking tired. That fooled me. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sit what? here for like what? seven seconds. Sh Shonda, <laughs> Shonda is a total mercenary. <laughs> Like, you know, she could have been like, more of a mercenary. We could have like killed and looted that tech guy. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. This guy. She's a good. She's a good guy, though. She, All the plus one weapons we're missing out on. She's not. She's not nasty. And, and there's Zarin <laughs> waddling with this fucking like power thing, like. Yeah. <laughs> and like trying to count on his fingers at the same time. We could have cleaned up this community. Oh yeah. Yeah. Still can. But, uh, you know. Didn't kill anyone. Perhaps could have been a little quieter, but uh, I think this worked out. <laughs> it was it's unnecessary to uh, evil guy shit their pants. <laughs> the fucking vigilante group of the <laughs> village yeah. shows up. We just don't yeah. give a shit. Burning so I, I must give the rope this credit. That really hurt my ribs. I saw. It was quite the hit. I, uh, Garmin was distracting me. He, of course, uh, of course. It was, that, it, was the, it was the goatee. Mm. That goatee. Um, the, shade, the shady goatee. It takes yeah. too much effort to maintain a goatee. Oof. That's the key. Anyone putting it's down that much effort is hiding like something. Like that we do make a really weird party, though. I like it. Like, yeah, there's like the, the hardcore mercenary gunslinger. There's the buff, like... Fuck robots, barbarian or blood rager. <laughs> There's the android, the wizard, and the like. The quirky like halfling who just like if if it beeps and makes lights, he wants it. You see, see how he treats us, man. He gave descriptors yeah. to mm -hmm. three of those people, mm -hmm. and then and the sorcerer and the just, android. Uh, the an I think right. your android describes itself. What about the sorcerer? It's kind of not good enough. Uh, so you call him a human, wizard, even. Yeah, a human. Yeah. And the human. Yeah, it is <laughs> the hunter. It's like a racist. I think classes. Android's a good enough description. I mean, I that's why. <laughs> no, Jake is pulling his shell game. The racism in this session. Uh, it is amazing. amazing. I think I think your race describes you perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in, in his defense, racism and Pathfinder, I mean, oh. kind of a thing. No, I mean, as far as, like, interesting factor. <laughs> oh. I didn't mean it in a bad way. The most interesting thing is what I'm you were born as, not what you had done. My, my damage life. token has been left on the warehouse map, if that mattered. Like, I can't go back and get it. Uh... And then, I'll, I'll get it for you. Well, let's okay. bring uh, the, uh, the, uh, the power console to... The escaped from Starfall sorcerer I with a mean, pinch. I, I, I guess, I guess, because like the temple is literally right on the way back to the Foundry <laughs> Tavern. Also, if someone comes to like Tech League's, like we claim you've stolen this from us, then the temple will get fucked. Up. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, and so basically, like, like Zarin's gonna be like, well, I mean, it's right fucking there, so mm -hmm. might as well pop it and say hi. Oh, no, we found this. Well, the question is, should we let the Sanwell guy take a look at it or not? I mean, he might very well be there too, along with the Clockfather, who I'm sure no, will I mean, be. No, I mean, might should we let him looking for it? Yeah, should we let him take a look at it or not? I mean, I don't think it like. like he clearly knew that something was up. Mm -hmm. But it send it was sending energy, right? Mm -hmm. Did it yeah. sap the energy from somewhere then? Maybe from some uh, either thing. Perhaps somewhere beneath oh. uh, Torch. 
Yeah, and because why otherwise would you? Why would you otherwise place something to shoot energy north? East, what was that you said, Jake? I said perhaps from the torch. Perhaps Maybe. it was using the energy of the torch and sending it elsewhere. Or like whatever was creating the torch effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the torch probably isn't supposed to. Well, well, then again, like I'm like, sure we could literally you. see if the fucking torch was back. Whatever. Well, we I don't think that. I'm pretty sure the torch isn't like on all the time. I'm pretty sure the torch is like a calculated, like scheduled event. Basically, it just uh, I thought, was, I, on I on thought schedule, it was on all right? the time. The torch before it went out was on all the time. There were such a uh, there were frequent intervals where it got even brighter, but it was never completely gone. Okay. Like an engine or something. I yeah. also like meta game wise think that that like the 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 fluids that that guy is selling as a drink might be like engine fuel or something mm -hmm. that's leaking that's somewhere. Thought, yeah. And he's like tapping it. Hey, hey, I don't know why, but if I'm thinking meta game wise too, I'm thinking that if this Mayanda purple haired android is so damn interested in this thing to put it here, I think us turning it off and taking it. I think like so. Happened. I think someone's gonna come for it, or she's down below because he said he she's down below. Maybe she's down there. Mm -hmm. Like she's definitely doing something down there, right? Yeah. Like, I, I just figure that this matters into the plan somehow. Also, oh, yeah. Yeah, they definitely. were the first. She presumably was the first one to go down there, so yeah. she knew that there was the tunnel into the ruins mm -hmm. down there before Corner Bane even. Yeah. And she's, they presumably yeah. activated the robots down there too. Yeah. I'm wondering if maybe um, she, you know, the door at the top, like how the oh, very first door. Oh, that could be how the they top, fucking avoided everything. The um, door at the top, she went in and locked it behind her, which is yeah. why we couldn't get in. Yeah, it might be it. And who is she? who is she? Because she probably isn't with the Technic League. We know that oh. she's sending energy uh, well, to we Scrap know that she might. Disappear soon, and we should probably and it, go fucking intercept them. I oh, I don't know. We don't know exactly why she's here. Garmin suspects that she's a cleric of some kind. You know how fucking like fanatical those assholes could be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a priestess. Dicks. Yeah, she's some sort of machine cleric. You want to know what I'm doing here? I am a Amy. priestess of the machine god. <laughs> well, I mean. So. Iron Guard. So, so if like they slapped us here, I guess like the goal was to be like stealing power, mm -hmm. and so like, yeah. and we need how well, that's something. You know, after we stop this, we should probably go to Scrap World, to try to maybe take yeah. a look and see what the hell's going on over there because mm -hmm. that's but that's later, right? Yeah. Let's let's not put the cart before the horse. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh -huh. Let's let's guess what, Godfather? We found a huge thing. Yes, basically, here I am waddling into the Temple of Bri. Acolytes are like, but what is your Do you not fucking see what I'm carrying, you stupid cunt? Oh, what is that? It's like, would you like some healing? The way tax has changed. <laughs> basically, they're like, oh, I'd really love to take a look at that. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure your back must be killing you. Would you like some healing for only ten gold? <laughs> Oh, they no, don't even like, like like wave the fee. <laughs> like still oh, trying to charge. This is the <laughs> worst. This temple is the worst temple ever. Oh, shit. I love we it. We are writing sheep story for him. Like, yeah, <laughs> he's blood sucking mosquitoes. Yes, that is a death ray. Clockfather says. <laughs> this is we, like we, a vampire. We simply can't allow you to take it out of here. We must <laughs> yeah. take good care of it. Yeah, Clockfather is <laughs> like that's a death ray. You said it was pointing at scrap wall. I'm sure they're all dead. <laughs> I'll quickly go find out what happened. Now, please, there. let us keep it here for safekeeping. <laughs> he looks at it. Oh, just a stabilizer well, you go for the... investigate this dangerous location. Then later, we'll miles add, away. Like, technically, you took, you took this machine from us and forced the clerics to keep it. <laughs> they confessed it all. <laughs> they would, wouldn't they? And they also paid us so much gold. <laughs> We are full of so much bullshit right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for sheep to react that we go into the yeah. temple. <laughs> Basically until like God puts us back on. Presumably <laughs> doing something. I mean, That's I mean I'm no, I, I'm just listening to you, Banta. Okay. The don't temple. do that. Stop us. Nobody wants that. This will never the stop temple. if you don't stop it. There is certainly activity in the temple, but Joram will meet you essentially at its entrance.